All right, so now it's time to put the drawers into the cabinet carcass. Since I don't have a bottom to my cabinet, it's hollow, it's very important that I put a support underneath the bottom drawer so I can have a good reference point. And the support has to be even with these two bottom shelves here. I'll put a paint stick on top of this block of wood, which is actually a piece of Cinco Cypress from a previous project. And I'm gonna put another paint stick on top of the wood. And I'm about a sixteenth of an inch sharp, in which I'm gonna use these popsicle sticks. Put one right here, one over there, not on top of one another. Now, I'm gonna turn this sideways. I'm gonna make sure that it fits. I have one inch on this side, which makes a half inch on each side because the drawer slides are exactly a half inch thick. So when I put these on the two sides, it'll fit nice and snug. What I'm gonna do is take the drawer slide here and I'm gonna set it on top of this guy. So I'm gonna quickly explain what these spacers are here. I have them measured to where when I put them on side of the drawer and I'll put a drawer slide on top of them, the drawer slide gets put right in the middle of the drawer. This is not a necessity. It doesn't matter if it's right in the middle, but you wanna get it as closely in the middle as you can that's the purpose of these spacers here. It just makes my whole process a lot easier. Slide these drawers up just a little bit. I'm gonna use these screws that are specifically made to secure drawer slides. All of the material will be linked up in the description below. Now that the drawer slides are in place, I can remove these guides. I'm gonna put one on each side. Put it on top, it should fit nice and snugly. Nice and snug, snugly. What the hell is that for? Now here's a quick tip. I want this frame or this wing on the drawer slide to be flush with the side of my drawer. So I have this magnetic leveler that I use to put it on the front of the face frame and then I slide this up and it sticks to it. So I know that this is level with the face frame over here. So I'm going to make sure that I have one on the drawer slide, put it even with the face. So I'm going to go over the process one more time. I take these spacers put it on top of the existing drawer. I take the drawer slides, put those on top of the spacer, and I'll line them up three quarters of an inch back. Why? Because the face frame of my drawers are gonna be three quarters of an inch and my cabinet is an inset style cabinet, meaning that the drawers are gonna fit into the cabinet. And how do I know that these are three quarters of an inch back? Well, because this is a piece of three quarter inch plywood that goes on side of this. So I know I can see the seam where I have to line it up. Remove the spacers, and again, get the paint sticks. Put the paint sticks on top of the drawer. So I'll take the drawer. It should fit perfectly, yep. A little space up top. All right, so I want to make sure that this it's going to stay right there, so that way I know it's exactly an eighth of an inch. I'm going to get these started so it'll come out with the drawer, making sure that the paint sticks stay in place.
So I designed this project where the face frame sits on the front of the cabinet and it has a 1 16th gap on top and on bottom. Because if you remember, this is 1 8th of an inch. So I'm gonna go halfway up there in which the popsicle stick comes into play. With the popsicle stick on top and it's flush with this little side corner bracket over here on the drawer slot. So it's flush there, flush here, Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. They uh, close and open very nicely. 